Good afternoon from Yummy Bee TV. Wishing you all well today. Sending loads of love as usual. Um, before I come up with the life tonight, Uncle Yummy uh, responds to Boris Becker. Well done, the great Dave Dunbar. Way, Dave. You know what I was thinking back? You lot reminded me again, because you know Uncle Yummy needs a tap these days as he gets older. <laughs> but please report, the strength is coming back and the memories are coming back. You remember when I told you about the injuries in Wandsworth? Remember I got released from there, you know? You remember I spent most of my time in Wandsworth. That's where I got the Queen's pardon from way back in the day. Throughout those fleeting moments, not so much in the night, because you remember I was missing off the face of the earth. But while I was on my injuries, uh, that last bit there, Julia Assange came in there. Yeah, they moved him, man. Yeah, he got extradited from somewhere. But they come, but they wouldn't let him on. You can't go on normal location. So they couldn't. They didn't put Julia Assange on the nonsense wing, Rule 43, because I was on sea wing. The nonsense wing was over there, Rule 43s, right? With a gate in front where the dinner thing is there. It's in my play that I'm, I'm going to be finished off as soon as I'm settled, of course. All the writing is going to begin. But Julia Assange, what they did, they put him in the hospital bit. They put him in there because obviously, you know, the nature, the status and all the things being said about him, you know that he's high risk. If he comes on the wing, there's many people that want, might want to test him, might want to take liberties with him, might even want to friend him up. It's going to be too much excitement and all that. It was different, like certain celebrities, you know, like um, Jeffrey Archer, um, my man, uh, Amy Winehouse's boyfriend, but that one there from way back in the day. He everyone was getting him to do send outs with the gear in Pennantville. Can you believe that? When he come there, they had to move him in the end. I know, because she was sending him pit. Well, that, that, that was a mad, mad spell. But you know that I did love Amy. One time in them early days when I was on recall, I was living down in Camden. Her house was across there. Uh, very lost soul, Amy. I, I'm not going to say nothing about uh, the boyfriend or whatever. But Uncle Yam never really liked it, to be honest. I've got to be honest with you. But, yeah, he, when they come, they come on normal location. That's different. But Boris Becker can't go on normal location. I can't see that. Not a TV pundit uh, who's been around that way there and with the money and that kind of stuff. Uncle Yami can't see it. I could be wrong. He could end up going to Wandsworth, go on normal location and go to a DCAT straight away. You see what I mean? Which would be an open prison. You see, uh, because of his status and because of his money and because of the risk factor in that thing. But Uncle Yami believes that he has to go on the hospital wing or Rule 43 because he's too high profile. It's just not going to work. I can picture it now because when, when I had the job in there in Wandsworth, remember I told you I had the... Um, I wore the T-shirt on a video once. Oh, God, man. The read and writing. Remember, I was teaching people to read and write. So I had a pass to go on all wings and that. So I went over to the hospital, you know, yeah, I've got to go and see someone, I've got to answer an application. That's the best job I ever had when I had the injuries. Imagine that. So I had, to, I, 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 when I was teaching people how to read and write, you have to answer all kind of applications. So one of those times, I had to go over to the hospital and I saw Julia Assange. I know, nice man, you know, I don't really, a couple I can't comment, can I really, about the allegations and all that. It don't make no sense to me. I know about all that CIA stuff and all the rest of it. It's too hot for me uh, to be bringing that up. But I know one thing. I got had a little rap with him and he was kind of cool. Uh, he weren't really frightened or nothing like that, Julia Assange. You could see that he, he felt like he'd been... He felt like how... Uh, what's his name felt? Uh, when I was in Long La and um, the brother who was extradite, who was waiting for extradition back to another country, but they held him on no charges for like 10, 9, 10 years on the detainee wing. It felt similar with, because um, it's all, apart from there's a couple of cases, he got a little bit of bird for, apparently, allegedly, on certain things. Uncle Yami can't judge that. I don't know. I weren't there. But all I know is the rest of the things that go around with it is really, really political, and they don't want him out. Deep in it, uh, they could just hold you in there without, without all the with all the talking behind the scenes. But there's no substantiation, really behind anything. You know, bit with all that the you know what stuff I'm talking about. Let's not go into it, please. Uh, but I had a brief discussion with him, and he asked for a couple of things, and I said to him, blah 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 blah, and I done a send out with him, and he said to me, he said to me, yeah, Uncle Yami, I'll send you. I said, no, don't worry about it, Julia, man. He said because he wanted to send me double or triple the money because he's got a few quid. I said to him, nah, 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 leave it. Just send what you got to send. To do it there that's all i need to do da, 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 da. but yeah he was cool but boris becker man that's a big fall man 
that's a big fall because during that career you've got to remember as well as winning that the youngest man to ever win Wimbledon during that time with a big booming boom 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 right um Boris is a decent man, really. You know, loved by the English. You know, you've got to, you've got to be honest. So you remember, you remember the scandal about the kid, da, 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 that that broom cupboard affair, all that kind of stuff, right? And now this, Boris, no, no, this is enough to break a man. But Uncle Yami says that he will survive. He's got that lion heart in him. If you get what I mean, that German thing means a lot. If you get what I mean, but no, I don't. I'm personally. I can't see it. I think he'll be treated the same way as Julius Assange. If he gets treated the same way as um, Jeffrey Archer, all the rest of the celebrities that I've met over the years, certain of them, you know, the cricketer, da, 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 all of them. Uh, I can't see it, though. I can't see it. I can't see it because they're going to be on to him. They're not really on. Like when Jeffrey Archer came to Belmarsh, and Brad, whatever, that's his name, Brad, he came to Pentonville. Everyone was like, moving to, yeah, like, da, 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 because they know that he smokes. Uh, but Jeffrey Archer kept it proper. You know, he is a bit thing up himself. He, everyone was walking up. Yeah, you're right, Jeffrey. I like reading that book because, you know, he's a good writer. They, that was without a shadow of a doubt. Cain and Abel, some of those books there that Jeffrey Archer read, read, um, read, wrote. Uncle Yummy read them in Ellsbury from way back in the day. So Uncle Yummy will give him credit for his writing as a person. Mm -mm, not my kind of thing, to be honest. You know what I mean? He's, but he's wise, Jeffrey. Don't get it twisted. I had a couple of conversations with him. But Boris, I can't see it. But then, but, but, I'm not beating around. I'm throwing a devil's advocate out. But Uncle Yami thinks, yeah, Boris, you could come on normal location because you're just a name and another prisoner. But I don't know. I think it caused too much. I think it's too much action in there. Uh, so they would have to take precautions. But would Boris instead be offered the Rule 43 and go on there? That's the question. They will be asking him that in reception. That's a fact, 100%, right? They will be asking Boris Becker if he would go under Rule 40, but you got to, your pundit blood, we got to offer you that because you know you could be at risk from nutters and people that want to get into you and money and all that kind of stuff. That kind of, what do you know? People are going to want to pull your thoughts about, yeah, is this bit true? Is that bit, what happened here? What happened there? You know, does he need to really go through that? My view is, uh, the truth be told, I can see Boris going under Rule 43 or going under hostel, um, the hospital until he gets his decat. Uncle Yummy's verdict. See you all soon, live at seven. Loads of love.